someone that I've sort of grown up looking up to. You know, she's been a part of this creative umbrella family for a really long time, and to, to know that she was gonna be fully unbridled made me nervous and excited. And the clothes feel like sort of a gasping breath. There was a sort of radicality going into it. There's something kind of mad about them, but fun, and then also grounded in the, in the history of what Chanel is. So I, I felt like every base was just slaughtered. I, I'm very, very proud of her and, and really, really humbled to wear them. It, it feels um, impulsive and sporadic and honest and colorful and it, it doesn't seem rehearsed or performed. It seems very lived in and sort of suspended. Like it was like that moment where you jump into the air and you're weightless. Not to make it too serious, but we really do need to feel light. We need to feel like we can run right now as women and these clothes make that feel possible. I feel like the tone of, of this is levity. Not just saying this, I genuinely would wear everything that I put on to shoot the campaign and I could like run around the block in. You're meant to do something in them, not just sit and look pretty. Like those clothes are meant to be worn. To feel that is not typical in, in clothing as, as beautiful as hers. Virginie's a punk rocker. I genuinely feel kind of ignited by the clothes that she makes. And the way that they're worn allows for a sort of individualized experience and there's an originality and a sort of unique thing that she brings to just a room she walks into that I feel like her clothes do the same thing. And when you step into them physically, you get to sort of have that. She's so creative and she's so herself that there has to be a certain layer of protection, but under that, she is like a very sprawling rocker. What's underneath is quite precious and she is that, for sure. Thank you.